Have you been in positions in which you've had to have management of a virtual organization? And if so, do you have any keys to success or even challenges to managing organizations that are built that way? My first experience with managing remote people was when I was at Chemlon and I had people all over the country, but we didn't really have the technology you know, to allow for ease of management. So it was really with a lot of phone calls, uh, conference calls, a lot of airplanes and traveling and showing up. Uh, and listen, to this day, I really believe in management, that management has to show up, not be on a pedestal, but show up and integrate into the environment you're at. So if you can get the same culture everywhere you have a staff, and if that culture can be based upon your core value, in my case, make a promise, keep a promise, see yourself as a promise keeper, and everybody can, can own that, well, you're making a big step. So how do you do that uh, with technology? Today, it's now we have the ability to do video conferencing. We're doing it right now. We have the ability to look the other person in the eye. And I believe in the technology that allows us to, to communicate. You know, I've always believed that the old water cooler experience is an important one with your staff. In other words, we just are both standing at the water cooler and we get a chance to communicate and talk and, and, and just get to know each other. And that isn't the same when you have remote agents or remote staff uh, in different places in the world. So what is the compensation for that? What is an alternative to that? Well, one is just being aware that you need to ask people about how their life is and what's going on. So part of it is just culture and, and consistency and truly caring. Always stay in management mode. Uh, I'm always in management mode. But the other piece is this. What is the alternative? Uh, if I can't see you at the water cooler, there is some great value in what happens in a video conference. I insist upon it in my businesses. It's because you're always looking at the person eye to eye. Even when you're standing at the water cooler, you're not always looking at the person. But when you're on video, you have to. If you don't, it's apparent. It's apparent you're emailing instead of looking on the call. Uh, and unless you want to look like you don't care, you better look at the other person eye to eye. And that can establish a great intimacy. And that intimacy, if used and, and you insist that your management uses it and, and works in that environment, uh, that becomes the basis with, with which you can build your culture, in our case, promise keeping. Thank you.